You guys see the trees dancing? Look at that. And you hear the wind, right? Hurricane is coming. And when a hurricane is coming, it's time to throw some moving baits. And I got this guy right here. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. The Chatterbait Flashback Mini 1 8 ounce version. And I have the Baby Baller Z, a new bait from Z Man. Super glued on. It's gonna stay on for a long time, catching a lot of fish. Let's do it. Hey, Bait Fitness Fanatics, fall is here. And during the early fall, it could be tough fishing because of the water changing conditions. Like we have some cold nights, we have some rain, right? The water is cooling down, mixing up, and pretty much all the water is mucky. So I like to throw things that are flashy and puts out a lot of vibration. And the Chatterbait Flashback Mini 1 8 ounce does it. Now this jig, uh, the jig head itself is about 3.6 grams with a stock plastic. It's about 5.1 grams I did remove it and I put on their new baby bottle Z and I was able to reduce the weight to 4.4 grams Which is a perfect weight range for throwing on a light tackle BFS rod now This tiny lure does not come with any bait holders So you would definitely need to add a little bit of super glue Just a little bit of super glue on an elastic like the baby bottle Z will last a very very long time for this fetching session, I'm using the Jackson Blast Beat, the Makimono Special. This is a light power rod with a moderate fast tip action, so it's very sensitive. You can set the hook, but it also has some flex, so keep those fish pinned as you reel them up. The BFS reel I'm using is the Daiwa Salamandor Air TW. I have the Roro Spool, 100 feet of various 4.6 go, and about a yard of four pound leader material. Let's get out there and do some slaying. All right, this is gonna be fun. No one's on the pond yet because everyone's in school. That's what I'm talking about. But uh, this should be out very, very soon. And uh, they may come out here, who knows, but the rain is coming very soon. And I'm trying to get some pre-storm fishing. So this is my favorite thing pond. And yes, I'm looking at the water. It looks nasty right now, but it's okay. All right, what's happening is it's pretty cold in the evenings and night and it's basically mixing up the water right now and uh yeah it looks nasty so having something like a flashy in vibration lure right like a lot of vibes like this guy right here should get the fish uh going they should be able to see this guy a lot easier uh with all that commotion so let's see if we get some pre-storm bites with this bfs style this thing is vibrating like crazy all right Whew, that's some nice distance I saw something pop over there on the side. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Woo. All right, all right. My first fall bass of the season falls to the chatterbait. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Hey, he's not even hooked. <laughs> All right, well, off he goes. See, that's the key of having a rod that could bend really, really well. This is the Makimono Special. It's a blend from a graphite and a fiberglass. So it bends a little bit better than, let's say, a pure graphite rod. So it allows you to pin those fish. And as you saw, even though if I don't set the hook uh, deep into the fish uh, mouth, right? I still got them pinned. I was able to fight them until the very, very end. So there's so many ways to fish the Chatterbait Flashback Mini, okay? They come in two sizes. They come with the 1 16th ounce and also this 1 8th ounce version. And what I like to do is just slowly retrieve it to the point where it's just making a chatter, okay? And it, depending on the trail, it may have to go a little faster so that you stay in the right water column. And I find that right now, this speed right here stays exactly where it needs to be. And this is a shallow pond anyway, so. Anyways, uh, the wind is picking up and it's blowing everything over there. I'm gonna circle this side first, but likely most of my catcher, it's gonna be on that side. Yeah, the, the water here is pretty disgusting looking. I bet y'all the lakes are pretty similar. Can't wait. Like once everything starts clearing up, you will see Jimbo slay the fall bass and your crappies. And likely I get to start using some of those chatter baits not chatterbaits, uh, uh, crankbaits, because those treble hooks, whoo, it's terrible in South Jersey. When you have all that vegetation, you can barely use any treble hook stuff. So, oh, something just popped over there. Oh, oh, got, got, got one right there. Look at that. Whoo. 
All right. Some pre-storm fishing. Look at that. Oh yeah, hooked them this time. All right, in it goes. All right, let's put this thing right back over there. I saw a lot of them in there. Well, a few. All right, none right there, but we do have a little point right here. So I'm gonna cast this out there near those turtles. A lot of turtles. But I see some of the wind is blowing right on that bank structure right there, that little point structure, and woo, the wind. It's actually pretty cold. Like, oh, there's a fish right there. Woo, small guy. Man, look at his colors. He's uh, been in his mucky water for a little bit, so he kind of lost some of his colors. Here, let me show y'all. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he's a, he's a little pale. And they do that so that they could uh, camouflage with the water. So that's pretty neat. We had a lot of rain lately, but it, as you see, we have a drought situation here. But it's pretty cool that the, the grass grew pretty quick once uh, the water line receded. But uh, yeah, by um, next spring, the water will go right back up. But right now, since uh, there's less water, I'm assuming it's gonna be easier to catch fish because they're all kind of congregated together. We shall see. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, <laughs> it was just hiding right there in structure. That's where they're at. I was told they're pretty much in structure, ambushing stuff that's swimming by. So I'll swim this chatterbait right over stuff like those and catch some fish. I see some stuff over there. Oh, got a bite. But yeah, I saw some stuff. Shallow water action. It would be a great time for a top water bait. But we're not here for the top water right now. Oh, got a fish right there. I'll just muscle him in. It's a small little dinky dink. I mean, that's all we have in this uh, pond here. You could definitely use an ultralight rod and make it a lot more fun, but I would urge you to use a smaller one, the 1 16th ounce version. And um, you probably get a little bit easier hook set because this hook here is just a little thicker than the other one, I believe. Not quite sure, I need to compare both of them, but this hook is definitely bigger than the 1 16th version. The wind is interesting. It's blowing that way over there, but it's blowing this way over here and um, it's pretty calm over there. Let's see if we get anything here. Fish, ha ha. Yeah, I'm just slow rolling in the bottom and then once in a while I do a quick crank so that it kind of does an erratic motion. Kind of like darting, escaping, right? So this thing's already creating vibes, flash and once they hone into them and they see them and you do kind of like a weird movement, like I said, a twitch or just a quick crank so that it's moved crazily, it could trigger a reaction, uh, reaction bite and you might be able to catch a few extra fish doing that. But you know, uh, it's great for beginning uh, beginners, right? You slow roll it, just like kind of like that. Got another fish right there. But yeah, slow roll is one way to catch them for sure. Low and slow, mid uh, middle of the water column, right? Either of those are great. So. I recommend the Chatterbait, especially the Flashback Mini, 1 8 ounce version. Let's cast it out, slow roll. Oh, there's another one right there. Found a school. They want it. See that? All right. All right, let's run this in a bank. It's pretty windy. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh yeah. We. Uh, this guy, his job been torn before. Thank you.
Got him. Woo, he was like hugging the edge. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Woo, he's getting a little thick. I can feel some meat on him. Hey, 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 in you go. I hope you have enjoyed the short fishing session with the Flashback Mini. Don't just use this during early fall, use it throughout fall. It's a great lure, it's a great way to imitate bait fish because now the bait fish plastic I'm using have flash and vibration. So make sure you have a few in your tackle box. I left links in the description below on where you get these Chad Bait Flashback Mini and also the Baby Ball Z. Use that one trailer because it's fantastic. Thank you for watching the Fish Don't Wait. Stay tuned for more fall fishing adventures. Let's go.